Hello, today I want to go through how to deal with declination when using the two types of silver compasses. There's this, these, these ones which have a fixed scale declination, that's most compasses, but on more expensive compasses like this you have a uh, semi-permanent adjustment available if you want to use it. Now also today I'm not going to go through what declination is but rather just how to set your compass to cope with it. So if you're not sure about declination then have a look at my other video magnetic declination simplified and then come back to this one first. Okay so now there's lots of things that you can do with a compass but when people are just starting out learning how to navigate the most important thing that they want to learn is how to take a bearing from a map and how to follow it. Now if you're following it you need to make sure that you're going in the right direction. So in most areas on, on Earth <laughs> you are going to have to adjust for magnetic declination. So to start with let's say that you've looked at the index on your map or you've gone online and you found out the declination in your area and for today we'll, I don't know, any number will do, we'll say that it's 15 degrees west. Now, if it was only one or two degrees, it wouldn't make any difference because when you're walking or trekking, anything under two degrees, it, it really doesn't make much difference. But anything larger, and you are going to have to adjust the way your compass points if you want to make sure that you uh, arrive at the destination that you want to. Now, most declination scales on a silver compass look like this. They'll have a west declination at one end of a series of numbers which runs round the inside of the dial and at the other end they'll have east declination. Now those numbers correspond to the declination in your area. So as an example if it's 10 degrees west then you would use the 10 degrees west mark on your compass. If it was 22 degrees east then you'd use the 22 degrees east mark on your compass. And that's really it so let's just jump straight into it. So just one little point I'll, I'll show you this on the screen. Because of the way they're used compasses with a fixed declination scale have the numbers running around the north end of the of the dial and compasses that use a semi-permanent declination adjustment have the numbers running around the the south end of the dial the reason for that will become apparent um, shortly so i'll go over first how to set the declination on compasses like this one here which have a fixed scale declination because they're the most common types and also it's really quick and simple so what we'll do is let's say that i am i don't know let's say that i'm here by this wall track junction here and for some reason i want to go let me find something i want to go to there which is 0.617 on the map it's a, obviously a small peak of some sort so I want to walk in a straight line across the country so all I do is I put the compass edge so it's touching both points so where I am and where I want to go to and then all I do is rotate the bezel until the orienting lines and the orienting arrow are pointing directly up the map so they're pointing north map north um, and that's my bearing now here's the thing what I need to do now is I need to adjust the compass direction to take into account our 15 degree west magnetic declination so all I'm going to do is rotate the entire compass until the north end of the magnetic needle is pointing at the 15 degrees west on the declination scale I'm then going to rotate the bezel again until the arrow is once again directly underneath the magnetic needle and the direction that I follow now is this direction so I've adjusted the uh, direction that the compass points to taking into account the uh, 15 degree west declination so that's how to set the declination on a silver compass with a fixed declination scale next what we'll look at is how to set the uh, declination on these more expensive compasses that have a semi-permanent adjustment. So this is a compass with a semi-permanent declination adjustment. Now the whole idea of this is if you look at the north, if you look at the arrow that's on the, on the base of the dial, you can see it's red at the top and black at the bottom. And the idea is we're going to adjust the direction that the arrow points. So hopefully you can see that moving. So 
there you go I'll set it back to zero so if it was set on 20 degrees it would be there 10 degrees would be there and I'll set it back to zero just for now so before we actually start doing anything with our map what we need to do is we actually need to set the compass to operate in a, an area with a de declination of 15 degrees and the way we do that is by turning this tiny little screw that you can see there now when you first got this compass it came with this lanyard so hopefully you haven't lost it and inside the lanyard clasp there is a, a tiny little screwdriver hopefully you can see that so all I'm going to do is I'm going to use a screwdriver and these are extremely fiddly I'll just warn you it might take me some time so I'm going to now rotate the compass or sorry rotate the screw until the bottom of the south arrow is directly pointing at the 15 degrees west declination which is there okay so that there is now put the base of the south sorry the south end of the arrow is now pointing directly at the 15 degrees west declination so our compass has now been semi-permanently adjusted the arrow for uh, 15 degrees let's say that once again I'm here at the wall track junction and again I want to walk to 0.617 all I'm going to do is place the edge of the compass so it's touching where I am and where I want to go to now normally we would simply move my hands out of the way I would simply point the orienting arrow up the map like that but you can't do that because you've adjusted now the way the orienting arrow points when you turn this little screw so what we need to do is not use the orienting arrow we need to use the orienting lines which are these lines inside so turn the dial until the orienting lines are pointing straight up the map rotate the whole compass until the magnetic needle is directly over the orienting arrow like that and that is the direction I'll just move it in so you can see what I'm talking about so you follow the direction arrow which is this and set off for your destination so that's how to set the declination on the two types of silver compasses thanks for watching